back in the shed. Alright, step one, block that hole off. Right? Right? No, of course not. Those rags did not look like that before, I swear to god. All right. This is gonna suck. Yep, it probably is. Wait. Wait. Step one, peroxide. You usually use two hands to get the cap off. What are you doing? Nice waste. What is it with you and dropping bottles of important liquid all over the floor? You just wasted the cabin's entire supply of peroxide. Now the fun part. I'm not looking at that arm. Alright, let's thread the needle. Oh god. This is gonna be like the most annoying quick time event ever. Oh, okay. Get, no, the needle, the thread would totally fall out of that Just due to like gravity. Time. Just how Crystal showed me. Oh God. Ah! Ugh! Oh god, the needle's still stuck in her. Mmm, this is not a fun part. Not having fun right now. Times. These are not good times, ladies and gentlemen. People, this is why usually doctors do it. Also, the needle's moving. I don't think that's realistic. See, the worst part would be if she puts the needle in the last time, and oh my god, I have to do more. She puts the needle in the last time. And, like, pulls it too far and all the string just comes out. Congratulations! You sutured your arm back up and probably ended up giving yourself more... freaking more places to lose blood. Than you had before. GG. GG! I mean, grab the hammer. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, brick. Brick break! Where are my Pokemon skills when I need them? Uh, get off! Can I use submission or something? Uh, brick. Fall back. Uh, rake. Go, 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 E! There you go. Uh, hammer. One, two, three, four. Hey, look who's dead now. Not me. Oh, hey guys, what's up, idiots? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? 
The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. Yeah, That's GG so morons. Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't <laughs> <change> <laughs> She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Okay. I mean, a simple nod would have done. Might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. So we didn't need to wait until morning. We need to wait wait like half half an hour, and that's it. You are. Why are you guys so stupid? I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. How did you know? I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. Apparently she is, because I did, and she helped I'll give me. give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. I'm not gonna date her. like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is. So basically, I have another Kenny right here. Except instead of being like, Duck is different. He's like, Sarah's different. My little girl. Blah, 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 blah. And I would ask that you stay away from her. Don't be friends with her because I want her to live a lonely life. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Is it Fruit Loops? Mmm, delicious air! That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow, nice. Hello, idiot number two. Actually, you're the number one idiot and asshole, I believe. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Aggro? Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. Uh, you definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. I'll oh, forgive you if you so give me that halo hat. We had a bad experience once. Is Luke playing checkers with himself? We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. There was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, okay, but still. Hopefully you understand. You should still be able to tell a dog bite from a human bite. I do. Yeah. Back to my cereal. I think it's cereal. So, since you're pretty much on your own... What's your plan? Uh, I 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, you're and, and, and you're welcome to not cut me off. Don't cut off my lines, dude. You think everyone else You are be rude. Okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So what happened to your parents? Also, is that how you hold a spoon? No, you don't. Like I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened yeah, to Yeah, no, you don't hold a spoon parents. like that. You're so young. I mean, she is 12, so... I didn't uh. think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. You failed. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. Parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. I'm the only one who survived. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. I'm doing a horrible job at it. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I ran away. I was stupid. As always. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I'm pretty sure Clementine has had so many indirect kills now I think about it. This place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Like, Clementine indirectly killed, like... I'm pretty sure everyone that Ben didn't indirectly kill... Clementine indirectly killed. The only difference being in the first episode. Oh, you're still here. And Larry. Hello, bitch. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Well, too bad. You know what? Fuck you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. I'll, nah, I'll see if I can get her to I be on my tell. side. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Okay, I'm never being nice to you again. Just want to rewind just so I can choose something else where I can just say fuck you to her. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She She's also a, a bitch. Last night, that's for sure. Probably those pregnancy cravings. She guys? probably really wanted Fruit Loops much. and I was eating the last bowl. I don't know. I honestly have no clue how pregnancy Anyone cravings work. Please don't shoot. take my word for it. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. 
Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway. Okay. So I grabbed the gun out of it. And then we just continue the story. It's like, it's like he's standing right there. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Fucking Halo hat. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. Does that role have to involve being stupid, though? He doesn't hate... Nick's father wasn't there much. Okay. <laughs> he was a piece of shit when he was. I never so like... I, I never like finishing my lines. Him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! It's water! My one weakness! Where's Tom? Oh. I mean, are those, are those their names? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? I think it's dead. Uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet. But it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver? What do you do? Who's Presumably Carver? you carve things. Check those guys there. I mean, Be not going to answer my Some question, or... I mean, thanks, guys. Uh, can't examine... This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Uh... There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. Rinky-dink pissing match. Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Nick's right. This doesn't look good. No, it don't. But one of these folks might still be alive. And they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, you're I a don't dumb like idea. this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Yeah. Same to what? you, YouTube comments. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. <laughs> you always but so agreeable? Just nope. Head on I think I'd rather just keep my head in general. Same deal. Shot to pieces. Hope Not in the head, though. Oh, no. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Like a wallet with ID or something, maybe? 
Uh, you, buddy. You, buddy. Or body, as the case may be. <gasps> hey, it's your stuff! You know, stuff you could have just grabbed before. Oh, you're alive. Slash a walker. I think you're alive. You don't have walker eyes. What happened to you? You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. I mean, he can't really say much right now. I think he's dead or dying. Yes. You want water, I guess? <coughs> yeah, sure. Might get him talking. <coughs> well, he's not telling me anything. Pete! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. God damn oh, it. you have been bit. Lurkers! About ammo. Apparently they're lurkers, not walkers. Bitch. Damn it! Get your asses over here, both of you! I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over uh, here! God damn it! Come I'm, on. Well, I'm gonna go to Pete. Well, at least he's still alive, so far. Yeah, let's get running. You are limping badly there, buddy. Next time on The Walking Dead... What are you gonna do? Probably die. Why do you care, bitch? Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? Probably kill us. I can't keep going. Too bad, bitch. We got about four to five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Huh. So somebody might be coming back. Uh, 83.8% of players tried to help Krista. 81.6% of players killed the dog. 87.3% of players accepted the apology. 67.9% of players give water to the dying man. And 52.8% of players went with Pete. I'm in the majority all the time. Go me! I am a bandwagon rider. Peer pressure. Game, hello. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, hey, credits. Yeah, we don't really care to watch this whole thing, and I, and I can't skip it, so... I'm just gonna say, uh, well, that was episode one, All That Remains, of The Walking Dead Season 2. Under this country music song, I'll see you next time for episode two.